Hi everyone! For today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Chikahodo Soray 3-piece brush set. Now, this is one of two brush sets that Chikahodo has released for their 2021 collection. The other brush set is called the Anube collection or the orb collection and it features five brushes with red handles they're quite beautiful actually but they're also quite pricey the anube brush set retails for 240 dollars and it features one brush made with goat hair the blush brush and the two eyeshadow brushes are made with gray squirrel and the eyebrow brush is made with tanuki hair so that's why it's quite pricey on the other hand the sore three-piece brush set that i have here retails for 100 five dollars without shipping so it's more affordable than the um, anubis set but i think it's still quite pricey for a three-piece brush set now i have to say only 300 sets were released per collection now unfortunately this set is currently out of stock at foodabeauty.com but i have seen a few pictures of it pop up in beautylish but i don't know if it's um, still available and if you're interested in having a brush set like this I think you would have to search far and wide through the internet to find one set for yourself now um, I've actually been very very excited to have these brushes in my collection because these are my first brushes from the Chikohodo brand now I am very unfamiliar with the brand uh, mainly because I've only seen them in some YouTube videos and I've only seen some of them in pictures and um, I actually wanted to visit their head office when I went to Kumano a few days before the brush festival I totally forgot that I was planning to go to Chikohodo but I think the main reason why I wasn't able to go to their head office at the time is because on the day that I was visiting different brush companies in Kumano it started raining so hard as it got later in the afternoon so I abandoned all um, plans of visiting more brush companies in Kumano and I decided to head to the brush museum instead to um, have solace from the rain so that's the main reason why so I'm actually glad to have a few pieces of my own in my collection as I've said earlier, I purchased this brush set from foodabeauty.com and um, it was so funny because when I went to their website on that day, I wasn't actually planning on purchasing brushes but I just wanted to check them out. And when I clicked on the link for Chikahodo, it was actually this brush set that said hi to me. So um, I was very, very attracted initially to um, the color of the handles and um, that's the main reason why I instantly bought it. And I'm glad that I actually did. Um, I'm going to be talking about my um, experience with Fuda Beauty a little bit later in this video. I'm going to put a timestamp so that you guys can jump um, to that part if you're only interested in um, hearing about uh, my experience purchasing through foodabeauty.com. This brush set arrived well packed and came in a pink Chikohodo box like this. It's very very beautiful. It's very very sturdy as well. It's not like some cheap packaging. So um, I really really appreciated that and I also found a note inside when I got this um, from Fuda Beauty. It's like a thank you note. Thank you for the beauty for this. I appreciate things like this. And the brushes were actually packed individually inside this plastic bag together with some leaflets from the brand. And you can also see the Kumano Fude authentication seal here. The Sore set has one powder brush and two eyeshadow brushes. Now, as I've said earlier, I was really attracted to the color of the handles of the brush set. Now, the color actually changes. Um, it depends on the light, but right now you can see that it's, it's like black that gradates into a very nice blue here with some shimmer shining through but depending on the light it actually changes so that's the color that we see because i actually have artificial light on because it's very very cloudy at the moment but under sunlight depending on the angle of the brush and depending on how you hold it it actually gradiates to a very nice purplish like midnight dark blue color and you see some shimmer actually coming out. If we're going to understand the poetry of these brushes, it actually reminds me of Twilight. So it's actually a very, very beautiful brush. Now, the other thing that I have observed about these brushes is the way that the brush handles are designed. It's actually quite top heavy. So it's actually quite um, full in this part and when you're handling it it's actually best to hold the brushes here because this is the part that has the most substantial weight on the brush and if you hold it here you can see that the brush will tend to 
um, face downward and you have so much tension in your hand and your fingers but if you move it here it actually becomes more well balanced and it will lay much more properly in your hand now the ferrules on this brush set is a very nice shiny black and you can see the chikohodo name stamp on it now the other thing that's also stamped on the brush but this time on the handle are the words makeup collection by teshu takemori um teshu takemori is actually the ceo and the chief artisan of chikahodo so that's why his name is there like even on the packaging his name is also there based on the description on fudabeauty.com i found that the brush handles are actually finished in yamanaka makie lacquer now um I was very very intrigued by this because I'm only familiar with Kyoto lacquer or Kyo Ishiki as what they call it and so I decided to do some research and I found out that Yamanaka lacquer is actually well renowned in Japan and they're actually like a very top tier in their artistry so these brushes are quite special in that matter now aside from the handles the other thing that attracted me to this brush set is actually the brush shape of these two brushes because i don't really have these types of brushes on my kit and frankly um, with this powder brush because this is like labeled as a powder brush um, i don't actually have angled brushes in my kit because um, this is a relatively new type of um, brush head design and when I first started playing with makeup this wasn't um, created yet so I never grew up with this type of a brush head design in my kit ever so that's the reason why I wanted to have it as well now this powder brush is made of dyed psychoho hair and it feels very very soft on the skin very very luxurious and this type of brush is actually great for people who have sensitive skin because it doesn't pull on your skin. It just glides on easily and it doesn't hurt as well. Even if you're like um, putting the brush at an angle like this, it doesn't feel prickly at all. Now I have already brought out this brush for a test run and I find that I prefer to use these with matte pressed blushes. The main reason is because the brush head is actually very very airy as you can see here. Although the belly is quite full but the thing with Saiko hair is that it's actually very very soft. I noticed that when I used this brush when I tried to pick up some of the Guerlain meteorites and some of the baked um, blushes and highlighters, it didn't pick up the right amount of product that I wanted. But when I use this with pressed powder blushes like this blush here, when you lay it, it doesn't even like cause so much uh, product kick up because the hair on these brushes are very, very soft. And because of the airy nature of the brush head, when you actually lay highly pigmented blush products onto your cheeks, it doesn't impart a full burst of color. As you can see here, the color is very soft and diffused. And I have also learned that this brush actually helps me to build up the color intensity that I want. And I like it that way because that's how I actually put makeup on. I always start light and then I build up the color and the intensity um, slowly and gradually. So I really like this. Now, I also like using this brush or highlighter because it doesn't pick up a ton amount of product and when you lay it there it also helps you to diffuse the highlighter and blend at the same time so as you can see here the highlighter is actually blending very well into the blush and I'd like that it doesn't deliver like a high impact highlight because I really don't like that kind of a highlighter now, I know that angled brushes are designed to add um, contouring, but I don't suggest that you use this type of a brush. The brush head is too fluffy for that, but this works very well with bronzer. Now, the thing with bronzers is that you have to be very careful when you layer them onto the skin because sometimes if you use too much bronzer, it can actually make your blush or your skin look muddy and I find that this brush actually helps me layer the bronzer the blush and the highlighter very well together so it's very it's a very very good brush so as you can see I have a very light layer of bronzer on and you know I don't have any foundation on I just have some skincare and some sunscreen and this brush created a very nice diffused look that's making my skin look very enhanced without looking very overly done so i like makeup looks like these okay so the next brush that we have here is this eyeshadow brush and i don't have this type of an eyeshadow brush in my makeup kit 
and um, to me even if it looks like it's round and flat it kind of tapers to a fine point here in the middle and I've also tried using this and I find this brush to be quite versatile so let me show you guys why so i've loaded some eyeshadow into the brush so i have realized that this brush actually works very well with my eye shape because if i lay the brush horizontally like this it actually fits very well into my um, eyelid and if i put it at the vertical position um, it actually lays very well also from the inner corner and if I just drag it all the way to the middle, it delivers a very well-balanced amount of eyeshadow. And also if I lay it here on the other side, it also does the same. I was really quite surprised when I laid it like this for the first time because it actually fits well into my socket line. And if I just use the brush in a windshield wiper motion, it actually does the job very, very well. Okay, so let's blend that out a bit. So we have our um, base color down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to add like a nice transition shade. So I'm going to be using um, this neutral brown color for that. And when I am loading the color into the brush, I am just concentrating the color like at the top portion of the brush, like from the middle all the way to the top. This actually lays very well into the crease and to the socket line. So we're just going to do that windshield wiper motion again. And as you can see, the matte eyeshadow color is looking very, very soft and well diffused already as I gently swing the brush back and forth. I kind of like the fact that it's actually helping me to minimize my eyeshadow application. And I like that it's, um, aside from enhancing my eyes, it's also diffusing it at the same time. So it's quite a very versatile brush and again, it really doesn't hurt and I'm really quite surprised by this because this eyeshadow brush is made of Sokoho hair so it's a much more lesser quality than Saikoho but it's even if it's lesser quality it is still very very soft and the thing with Sokoho hair is that it's actually much more sturdier than Saikoho hair so this is actually the reason why this type of hair is used for an eyeshadow brush okay so I'm gonna dip into this much more darker shade of brown so again I am using matte colors and for this particular eyeshadow application, I am just using the top portion of the brush and I'm loading the color there. And I'm going to be applying this eyeshadow color right into the crease. And then I'm just blending it. Again, as you can see, the color is already starting to diffuse and blend with the other eyeshadow colors that I have applied earlier. And I'm finding this to be a very remarkable brush because it's helping me to blend out matte colors very, very well and fairly easily. I wish I had two of these. Mm. You can see my eyes is quite enhanced already and quite awake. Okay, so with the same eyeshadow brush, so I'm just gonna remove the other colors that we have here. And I'm gonna add this nice white color here and I'm gonna use the side of this brush here and I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone area. Now I like using this for highlight colors because it's a very nice, it's not too shimmery. Also helps to blend out everything. So there, I like this brush. Now the next brush that we have here is a definer brush. So as you can see here, um, I don't really use this type of a definer brush because I find that it, the bristles are actually very very long and if i was to compare it to the other smudge and definer brushes that i have in my makeup kit so i have uh this orange one is a hakuhodo s144 and the other brush that we have here is a smudger brush from laura mercier which is no longer in the market and it and it has been discontinued so i initially actually found the chikohodo brush to be a little bit too long for my liking but i was pleasantly surprised on how this turned out now this brush head is actually made of psycho goat hair and it's very very soft now the first time i tried this i was so surprised because sometimes there are some definer brushes that are very painful to use at the lash line area of the eye because after all this is a very sensitive area and this brush was actually very comfortable to use now again it's still very very soft and i like that it imparts a very diffused 
color on your lash line so it just like emphasizes it without overdoing it and i really like that because this makes this brush makes your makeup application to be fail safe you know so you can it helps you to build the color that you want and to the intensity that you like it to be and the other thing that i like with this brush if we put it on the side here you can see that it thins out as it reaches the top and the great thing about a brush like this is that you can also use this to create a nice soft flick in your outer corners just to create a nice lift and also because of this you can enhance your lower lash line yeah so i'm actually quite glad that this brush set actually helps me to create nice very subdued well blended eye makeup look so i'm really really surprised by this experience especially that this is actually my first brushes from the chikohodo brand so this feels very very promising to me so after this experience i'm gonna go to the for the beauty website and try to see if i can find um similar brushes like these um, found in other lines of the Chikahodo brand because I really liked how these two worked with me. So as I've said earlier, I actually purchased this brush set from fudabeauty.com and they are a retailer which is based in Japan and it was actually my first time to purchase from this online retail store and I was actually very happy with my experience with them. Now um, the website is well designed, the registration process was fairly easy and um, the ordering process was also fairly easy although um, the only thing that bothered me at first was the $30 shipping fee that they were imposing on orders below $300 and um, I was saying to myself, it's too expensive, $30 for shipment. But my doubts went out the window because the package actually arrived like this. And when I opened it, the Chikohodo box was packed in a bubble wrap. And the thing that astonished me about the delivery is that there were no dents on the boxes at all. Because sometimes um, when you buy things online, um, you see that the boxes tend to end up being crushed things like that but it didn't happen with this at all and the other thing when you're purchasing brushes from foodabeauty.com the total price of the brushes that you purchase does not include custom taxes and as we all know custom taxes are different from one country to another but i i can only speak for custom taxes here in the philippines you only pay for custom taxes if your order goes beyond the 200 dollar or the 10 pet 10,000 peso mark and this includes a shipping fee so if you are buying a product which is like around $180 and you pay $30 on shipping fee so you end up paying $210 you would have to pay custom taxes for that because they calculate the entire value of the package which includes the shipping fee so just take note of that now the great thing also with foodiebeauty.com is that they also have a membership program so you actually earn points from your purchases from leaving reviews or even with celebrating your birthday, you earn points and these points um, can be converted into vouchers. So this is a great thing, you know, like um, this is a nice reward system wherein they reward you for your patronage. And um, the other thing that I would also like to say is that after my first purchase from Food Day Beauty, they gave me a referral code. Now I'm gonna put that code down below so that if you are a first time customer at Food Day Beauty, you can use this code and you'll be given $10 off your first order now i also have to say that i do earn points when you use this coupon code but um it's not really important for me the thing is please use it because um it gives you ten dollars off from your purchase and that in itself no matter what is also a big amount of savings and you can only use this for the first time when you first register on your first order at foodabeauty.com okay so, so that's it for me today guys if you have any more questions about the chikohodo sorry 3p set and my experience purchasing brushes at foodabeauty.com please leave them down at the comments box below and let's have a conversation about this thank you so much for watching and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye bye